Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle bit. Now this is between the Echo 2020 and the Nest Audio to find out who has the best sounding smart speaker because you know they've talked about how good the audio is and all that fun jazz. Now just to let you guys know, we've gone ahead and partnered with MediaTek on this video and they do have an SoC inside the brand new Echo 2020. So let's take a look at both devices and we'll start off with the Nest Audio. Nest Audio has a brand new design and it's also got fabric all around it and it's more of a cylindrical standing shape, if you will. In terms of buttons, there's only one button in the back, which is the mute button. There's a power port, simple G logo, and that's it. Controls are pretty simple and easy. It's all on the top front side of your device. So on the right hand side, to tap that, we increase the volume. Left hand side, reduce. Center, of course, is your function button. It does have lights that light up in the center of the speaker, indicating the speaker is active for you. Now, Google talks about this having, of course, a 75% louder volume uh, and uh, that's great and all, but we have to see how well it sounds, right, uh, overall. And this, of course, will work with, within the Google ecosystem. It's got, you know, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, all that fun stuff comes in various colors. Now, moving over to the Echo 2020, brand new design as well. It looks like a ball and it sits on your table. The idea here is to disperse the sound as wide as possible for you. Now it's got a fabric finish, comes in three colors. Buttons here are physical buttons. You've got your volume up and down, your function button, as well as your mute button. So you know where the buttons are. On the lower half of third of the device, you do have a power plug uh, and you have a lining jack, which is pretty nice. So that's something quite rare and different. Now, this is powered by the AZ1 Neural Engine, and this is where MediaTek has their brand new SoC, the MT8512, which gives us a ton of new features that they are claiming will do a fantastic job, and we have to check them out. So there's a new high-performance voice DSP, which should give us faster, accurate wake-up word calls and voice detection. So if we ask a question or something like that, we should get get some faster responses out there. This also uses an ultra efficient 12 millimeter process, high responsive two, giga, two gigahertz dual core CPU and fast, of course, a memory. So we'll see how all that comes in and compares to, of course, the Nest Audio. Now, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and just test the speakers out and see how well they sound. Okay, so speaker test is done, right? And they both sound good. Honestly, they do sound good. I've got a much larger apartment. I've got really high ceilings. So just take a quick look at my ceiling. So I've got high ceilings and they still do a good job in giving me enough sound to generate and fill up most of the space. Starting off with the Nest Audio, uh, it was loud, it was clear, but it was a little bit flat on the mids. You can tell that the center of the song felt a little bit far away. Compared to the Echo 2020, where the mids come out really strong, the highs were a little bit compressed, uh, but the mids and the lows came out well. So it gave you that, you know, 
uh, it gave you that uh, idea that the whole room was being filled with the sound. So in terms of audio, I would go with the Echo 2020, or just on the slight edge on that, because I, I really like the fact that the mids came out really well. Even though the highs were crushed a little bit, you could still hear those uh, quite as well. Now, the other thing, of course, with these devices is that, of course, they connect to either, uh, you know, Google Home or Alexa, and they've got some really great functionality built into them. You can use both of them with voice controls. You can use the apps as well. But of course, this is testing the speakers, and I'm not going to go into the intricacies of what which one can do what. We know Alexa is integrated into 100,000 devices plus devices. Uh, Google's also integrated into, you know, thousands of devices as well. I don't know the exact number. But we do know that, but I want to see how well they respond when I just ask a simple question. So I'm going to pose three questions um, here just to give you an idea and we'll see how fast it responds in those cases. Hey Google, what's the weather in Brooklyn today? Today in Brooklyn, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 68 and a low of 62. Currently, it's 67 degrees and cloudy. Alexa, what's the weather in Brooklyn? In Brooklyn, it's 69 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 70 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. Hey Google, what is 480 times 289? The answer is 138,720. Alexa, what is 480 times 289? 480 times 289 is 138,720. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the two antennas that got married? The ceremony was okay, but the reception was great. Alexa, tell me a joke. What's the best thing about Mondays? I don't know. Ask me on Tuesday. That actually was surprising. Um, you could clearly see that the Echo 2020 did a faster job in responding to my question. Uh, once I said Alexa it would, and asked my question, it responded right away. While the uh, the Nest Audio took a little bit of time. Now, mind you, this is not, it wasn't slow. It just took a couple of seconds longer or maybe a second longer in certain cases, but you could clearly tell the speed difference between both speakers. So that gives you a good idea of how each one sounds when asking specific questions. Um, and that also goes to play into that uh, DSP from the AZ1 Neural uh, edge processor. So that's actually nice to see. Um, but I think overall, you've got some two really solid speakers and two different ecosystems, if you will. Um, but if you're going to look at one to give you a louder or at least bigger sound, I will go with the with the uh, Echo 2020. I also think the Echo 2020 does a pretty good job in just answering and responding to me as quick as possible. So in those categories, uh, they win. The Nest Audio is really solid overall, does a fantastic job as well um, in terms of audio and also does a good job in voice recognitions. Now, if you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know. If you disagree with me and you think I'm wrong, you think one's better or the other, let me know your thoughts. Give me your examples. Let's talk about it. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.